Hello, hello. This is Elizabeth Griffin, your indie author from South Philadelphia, and welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I've taken a walk during my lunch break, but uh, I figured because the weather is amazing, I'll get out, I'll make a quick video, and I'll chat with you, and then I'll go back to work. So today, I want to talk about friendship. I've been thinking a lot about my girlfriend Retta and my other girlfriends that I work with and how over the years they have inspired me and encouraged me to do things that I thought were unbelievable or just impossible. An example would be one year my girlfriend Retta mentioned that she went to this convention in Philadelphia for writers and she asked, why weren't you there? And I'm looking at her like, are you kidding me? Why would I be there? These people are established, published writers. I'm an indie writer and I'm putting out my own material. So why would I be there? But because she had said this to me and because she expected it and she really believed it, I decided to pursue it. So I contacted Power 99, which is a major radio station in Philly, really big. And they were part of Sister, uh, Sister which is um, a convention that no longer exists, but it was an event every year where they would come out and they would uh, run out the convention center and they would do book signings. And I met uh, amazing authors. I've met rappers. It was just phenomenal. But, and I was even on the radio. Power 99 had me on and they interviewed me about my first book, uh, Naira, which is young adult fiction. And at the time, uh, it generated a lot of attention because a lot of people, a lot of indie writers weren't writing books for teenagers. And this was um, a book, a coming of age story about an African-American young girl living in the inner city. And uh, it was a book promoting abstinence and virginity and just showing you the consequences of becoming sexually active at a young age. So it's a book that I... I photocopied on a Xerox machine and I distributed manually to local um, black bookstores and they were receptive and they took this book, it was eight and a half by 11 printout, but they took it and they promoted it. It's just phenomenal what the community will do when they support you and what your friends expect of you can just make you work harder. So my friend Retta passed away and, and it breaks my heart when I think about it, but I remember all the times that she encouraged me. She was the one that helped me design my very first book cover. She was always, always a fan, and, um, and I, I miss her. I miss her a lot, and I wear the afro as a tribute to her, and when I first decided to do this, I was afraid. I was afraid to wear my hair out. I was afraid that people would judge me because of my afro, and especially going to a work, going to a, a, a prestigious hospital, I didn't think they would accept me with the big afro, but you know what? They loved it, they embraced it, and um, it's amazing when you embrace who you are and you, you step outside your comfort zone and, and you'll be amazed at how many people compliment you. Even when I go gray, like I have the gray afro, today I got a compliment from a young man. Stunned me. He said, your hair was beautiful. I was shocked. I'm like, this? So there is so much beauty in our culture. There is so much beauty in us as individuals and collectively. So don't forget that. And um, trust your friends because sometimes they see things in you that you just don't see. And um, I don't mention my other friends who have supported me because I don't want to put their names out there because it's private. But you know who you are and I thank you for reading my manuscripts, for encouraging me, for bringing me lunch, for uh, just treating me wonderful, for giving me all kinds of ideas uh, when it comes to writing and for uh, pushing me, making me require more of myself than I would normally. And so thank you friends, both those that are living and here and those that have passed away. And let me not forget to mention uh, Lois Steen. Lois Steen was a wonderful woman as well. She watched my children when I did my first book signing in the gallery. And she was also the woman that came to my house and loaded up my, my boxes of books and took me to the convention center when I did the Power 99 Sisters uh, event. So friends, they are priceless. And when they truly believe in you and support you, uh, they can make you see things in yourself that you wouldn't normally see and expect things of yourself and even when they pass away those memories are there and they um they encourage you they they inspire you and then you take chances like i don't care what anybody thinks really um because i know within me what i want i know within me what um not exactly what i'm capable of because i can always surprise myself but i'm confident 
and I'm assured. And I just want to put that out there to you. Be confident, be assured. Uh, obviously you will need validation or you will get validation from others, but the internet is a wonderful place to, to put your material out there, your art artistry, and have uh, affirmations there. So I hope this video has been helpful. As always, follow me on all my platforms. I'm gonna sit down. I'm showboating. What do you think of the outfit? Do you like it? <laughs> what about the shoes? We haven't done that in a while. So as always, love, peace, joy, and happiness. Until next time, bye-bye.